痴。Everybody, I hope this video finds you well. Today, it's been a uh, couple of days since the uh, Nancy Pulaski violation of Chinese red lines. Um, the ignorant and the West are still parroting the Taiwan narrative, and we need to support Taiwan and all that other bullshit. And, that's fine and dandy. Uh, what I want to talk about here is uh, moving on into the, uh, the war. It's a war. I've, I've made it clear before. I'm going to make it clear again. It's a war. You don't cross red lines and not expect a war to occur. That's what happened in Ukraine. All right. Uh, Putin did everything in his ability to try to stop that. But no, 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 no. They kept on pushing and pushing and pushing. He waited until the very last minute and then surrounded all the Ukrainian troops that were amassed to attack the Donbass and destroyed all the sites that were going to be hosting the nuclear weapons. So what's going on right now? Well, let me tell you, please. Um... It's been a couple of days, a lot of concern about Taiwan and this and that. You want to know what's going on in Taiwan? I'll tell you what's going on in Taiwan. They're taking pictures of all the cool Chinese ships and everything. <laughs> Chinese people, in case you don't know. Are you an idiot? Not realizing the Taiwanese people, aside from a small minority, most of them are like, yeah, I'm Chinese. Look at me. Look at my eyes. I'm Chinese. Listen to my language. I speak Chinese. I'm Chinese. This is my nation. I'm proud of China. Um, there's various degrees of that various flavors of that. But yeah, that's what's kind of going on. I'm not lying about it. That's what's going on. But I want to talk about a couple of things, just kind of throw them out. So I'm opening up my, uh, uh, my computer, wake up in the morning. Now, I am totally expecting another biological attack. I'm completely expecting that. 
anytime China does something that America doesn't like, America says, you watch out, there's going to be repercussions. A biological bomb hits China. It's true. Look it up in case you don't get it. So I'm expecting, okay, when is this biological event going to occur? So I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm waiting for it, okay? And sure enough, I open up Drudge, and right there, a new strange variant. Multiple cities. in China simultaneously. Imagine that. Faster spreading, more dangerous. Imagine that. Hmm. What are the odds? I tell you, America's so predictable. Or seriously, so damn predictable. There's a lot of very interesting stuff going on. Anybody that uh, angers the United States, they turn them into a sex offender. They either use uh, uh, prostitutes or agents to then cry, hey, he raped me, or uh, you know, they just uh, try to put stuff on their computer or uh, all kinds of stuff saying he's a child molester and all kinds of stuff. You guys know the drill, all right? That's how they retire all majestic agents. That's how they retired Scott Ritter, the um, weapons inspector in Iraq when he couldn't find any WMDs. That's what they did to Julian Assange. And let's not forget about all the rape accusations about against Edward Snowden. So lo and behold, imagine my not surprise when the entire group of Project Veritas, you know, the one that's uncovering government malfeasance, government bullshit, government lies, government manipulation, government theft, Project Veritas, suddenly is embroiled with sexual attacks rapes and all sorts of sexual things. And there's gonna be a blue ribbon panel that's going to investigate them. Imagine that. Hmm? What are the odds? What are the odds? It's just a coincidence, don't you know? Anybody who's against the United States is obviously a sexual deviant. Hmm. Yeah, a bunch of shit going on. To understand what's actually going on in this world, you have to actually understand what's actually going on. And I gotta tell you, these morons that are being broadcast to you on mainstream media are fucking idiots. I mean, really. And so they're, they're saying Putin invaded the Ukraine because he's a crazy madman and he just wants to control the world. Talk about projection. I gotta tell you, after reading some of this stuff, all I want to do is get drunk. Well, not really. It's kind of early to get drunk. But what I would like to do is sit down and play a video game, maybe. This kind of stuff is just a headache. I gotta tell you what. Anyways, um... For those of you who are unaware, yeah, the, the Taiwanese are really checking out the, the, the Chinese uh, weapon systems. They just think they're cool as all shit. Like the organization. Yeah, the Chinese, what do you expect? And um, I know uh, you got all this, oh, with Taiwan, there's going to be invasion, Taiwan invasion, Taiwan invasion, Taiwan invasion, oh! Taiwan's part of China. You can't invade yourself. Or maybe you had a lobotomy. 
maybe you don't understand the idea that you cannot invade yourself. But, but you know, Mike Pompano says it's an independent nation, and I believe him. Okay, that's all right. You had a lobotomy. It's obvious. So, anyways, um, <laughs> anyways, um, all this being said, uh, the the uh, serious stuff is is going down. Well, China's not going to do anything. If it, would, if it did, it would have happened. <laughs> As I described before, China picks the time. Um, actually, what's moving into place is this massive steamroller machine. If you can visualize this titanic, gargantuan, lumbering mechanism that's slowly cranking into place, steam jutting out of it, with boilers firing up, getting ready, and it's being pushed into place. I don't think anybody in the West has any idea the kind of shitstorm that's going to happen. Now, I'm not talking about war. China can defend itself. I'm no doubt about that. All of you who are daydreaming for World War Three, you should have stopped playing toys in in elementary school, okay? You, you gotta face the reality now. And the reality is, China is gonna give America what it wants. And boy, oh boy, you don't want that. So you're going to see, um, I would like to see it sudden, but I think it'll probably be gradual a shutting down of all things exported to the West, not just minerals from Russia and oil from the Middle East, IC chips, fabricated parts, lithium batteries, all sorts of things. And as these things are shut down, the ones that are able to get through are going to have to be paid for in the new reserve currency, which means you're going to have to have gold to back it up. No longer are they going to exchange. That's going to be the first step. Why is this important? Well, you have to understand 99% of all medicines are made in China, as are the machines that make the medicines, the machines that fabricate the ingredients for the medicines, the the materials used in the ingredients for the formulations, for the medicines, the medical equipment used in hospitals, and their spare parts. It's all made in China. Well, we'll have the parts out of Germany, sure. Except, you know, Germany's aligned with America, so they're not going to get the parts because they're all made in China. Yeah, but I have parts. I know they come from Taiwan. Yeah, that's part of China. China's not going to allow that stuff out any longer. Yeah, but you know, I watched Fox News and they said we can rebuild America. Sure you can. Yes, you can. I want you to go to south of Pittsburgh, go to uh, the valleys over there, look at some of those nice American factories that were abandoned and you going to tell me how you're going to fire up these goddamn rusty hulks. I fired up a factory once, and a factory that was abandoned. Uh, in, um, I was in Mississippi at the time. Uh, it was uh, Sunbeam Oster. Uh, Sunbeam was, uh, had a hostile takeover back in the 1980s by a group called the Allegheny Consortium, which is a group of bankers and investors that had hostile takeover, took over the entire appliance company and then dis disassembled it and sold it off. Just like the guy did in the movie Pretty Woman. That was what he did. That was his thing. Buy up companies, then sell them off for profit. That's what they did to to Sunbeam Oster, and um, the remains of Sunbeam Oster was bought up by another company, and they wanted 
they hired me uh, to take over their heated group, you know, heated things, uh, clothes irons, uh, hot water maker, coffee makers, uh, pots and pans, electric fryers, heated products. So I was in charge of that. We went into that factory, and I swear to God, there was dust. It was like somebody had just fired everybody, gave them pink slips, took out the door, and then locked the door, and that was it. Everything was in place. Cobwebs, dust covering everything, blueprints were still on the desks. And uh, they had laid off so many people, thousands. We started back up with a small group of maybe eight. And we had to get some old timers that were luckily still working in Mexico. And uh, we brought them in and uh, got things going. That was only after uh, 10 years. That was only a, a 10 year period of it being shut down for 10 years. Most American factories and industry has been shut down for far longer than 10 years. Maybe 30, 40 years. These systems are no longer operational. They no longer work. These factories should just be bulldozed down. So what you're going to see is a situation that Donald Trump wanted to happen, which was a rebuilding of America, no longer voluntarily, but uh, aggressively you have to. And they're going to start from nothing with no trained workers. There's engineers and people in the United States that can do the work, I have no doubt that they can, but you're going to have to revamp and change the business culture to make this kind of stuff happen. And uh, that's not going to be something you can do in a couple of months. They're also going to have to figure out ways of getting machinery, making machinery and all this stuff to make these parts. And um, you're going to find that the investors that are going to do that are going to look at the bottom line and going to have to weigh the pluses and minuses of setting up a factory in the United States from scratch rather than just going over and setting up a factory in Africa or South America to service the new, new world order, the larger consumer bases through Asia rather than the smaller, tightening, poorer, getting poorer every day American society. You see, it's, it's okay to... Um, to say you're going to do things and you're great and you're wonderful and all this rah, 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 it's really great. But when it comes time to a business, it's always about the money. Okay? And so these are, these are things that are going to have to be uh, looked into. I don't think that it's going to be as easy as everybody thinks, but it could. I could be wrong. What the hell do I I'm only in the business. Okay, so... That's kind of what's going on. Let me give you a little bit of a, of a quick show of what to expect. Um, a gradually uh, decreasing accessibility to medicines. Perhaps mitigated by various workarounds, but eventually the access to the medicines are going to de decline. Eventually, unless something happens... Uh, you're going to see empty shelves in pharmacies and hospitals. What does that mean? Well, 80% of Americans are taking some kind of a pill right now. That's going to end. Those who are older who's taking heart medicine is going to start having strokes. Those who need heart surgery or have to have problems and have to have an operation will have to do it without anesthesia. No more spinals. I'm going to do, I have to do other kinds of stuff. There will be workarounds. Some of them are going to be primitive. That's just medicine. Spare parts. Let's talk about spare parts. Car breaks down. You're fucked. Your lamp fizzes out. You go to the store to get a new lamp. No more lamps. That's it. You're going to have to make do. 
spare parts. Computers! No more. You're going to be stuck with whatever you got right now for the next 20 years. Cell phones, same. And when the batteries die, you're out of luck. So you're going to be doing the, the, the latest iPhone right now. You're going to still hold on to it for 20 years. Meanwhile, everybody in the rest of the world is going to be operating on 20G while you're still playing around on that American 5G, which is really 4G with sprinkles on top. Yeah, that's pretty pathetic, isn't that? Every, look around your house. Look around you right now. Everything that's manufactured. Everything that's manufactured. Every single thing that's manufactured comes from China. One way or the other. If it says it's from Japan, it comes from China. If it says from its Korea, it comes from China. If it says it's from Germany, it comes from China. It says from the UK, it comes from China. It says it's made in Mexico, it's made out of parts that come from China. I don't think you guys have any idea how your lives are going to start changing now thanks to Biden and ordering Pulaski to cross red lines. Of course, there's going to be a lot of cheering, rah, 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 and they're going to be talking about politics, politics, and Republicans going to take control and all, I'm going to show China, and all this other kind of nonsense. These things it doesn't matter. What's good going to come out of this is people are going to start living without the things that you do. There's going to be change in society. Change can be good or it can be bad, it's all, but it's always discomforting. So you're going to have a period of discomfort while the change readapts, things readjust. Me being a optimist, I like to see this forcing a revitalization of small town America. I like to see my little town of East Brady start becoming more vibrant with small businesses popping up. Maybe things that will take your broken appliances and fix them manually with some tools because there's a lot of talented people in the United States. I like to see that people start growing natural food with not these GMOs from these big mega corporation plants, okay? I like to see that stuff and we'll have smaller, fam uh, smaller farms and fisheries that service the local environment. And people will start running and working uh, using more electric fields vehicles and bicycles instead of these gas guzzling SUVs all the time. I like to see that. How Whether this manifests or not is going to depend on a lot of stuff, but I will tell you that there is going to be discomfort. Some people will just brush it off their shoulders. It's discomfort. Meh. I roll with the changes. While others are going to be apolitic. They will just completely freak out. I can't charge my little four-wheeled scoot to haul me to Walmart anymore. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm losing weight. Oh, that's good, but, you know, I'm hungry. I need my frito nacho pork rinds. I need my Coca-Cola, which is another thing. China could be really nasty and nationalize all the American companies. What does that mean? Well, it means that all these American companies that are on Wall Street, all of them that are on Wall Street, their lion's share of profits come from China, which is five times the population of the United States, of course. Coca-Cola sells five times the amount of Coke in China than it does in the United States. Nationalized Coca-Cola and the stock of Coca-Cola goes shee clunk. And what does, I've mentioned this before, what does American companies do when the stocks go down? Hmm, well, they lay people off. So you have bigger and bigger groups of people who are unemployed. 
and the United States government, being as moronic as it is, is going to start printing more money. And what happens when it prints more money? More inflation. You will continue to pay more for less. But it's not just that. You see, with what's going on with Russia, the United States kind of took a nosedive. And now as it's going down, it's taking a left nosedive even further. Things are going to get a lot worse. Now, for those of you who think, well, it might change. It might. Highly unlikely. There's only one speed on this runaway car known as America right now and it's fast or faster. There's no brake. Somebody snipped the brake cord. All they can think of is more, 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 more. <clears throat> so I, I think that's highly unlikely. Highly, highly unlikely, if you ask me. Now, <clears throat> this is for a long time metallic man, um, readers and everything. I'm glad that uh, the response for the uh, Domain Commander Q&A was so positive. I appreciate that. I'm going to work on more stuff on affirmation campaigns, uh, the tie into the fate forecasting, but also what I want to do is, uh, is work on the world line travel uh, visualization effort here because what happens is when you go from one world line to another world line to another world line, it's not a singular point like I've described. It's actually a group of points. And I'm going to do that, but I can't figure out how to visualize it. I can visualize it using CAD, but I'm, as you well know, I'm in the middle of a move. And my stuff is everywhere. So... Um, I'm going to give, get that up, but I want it. This is like a teaser for all you to, to get really excited about it because it's really good. I think it's going to help you understand how you can manipulate your the mechanism uh, for your movement on these various world lines so that you can actually manifest some things a little bit faster than you normally would. I think it's a good thing. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that. I was planning on doing it today, but for the life of me, I can't find my CAD software. Now, now, I've got some old versions here. This is 3D Max. I've got uh, old SolidWorks, which is an old uh, Katia system. And of course, my tried and true, my favorite, which is Pro Engineer, Pro E. Uh, that's my preferred software program, it's Pro Engineer. Um, this is Wildfire, obviously. I like it very much, but these are old systems on CD-ROMs. I don't have a CD-ROM because, you know, nobody uses CD-ROMs anymore. Um, people just um, download them. I'm using Unix system, so I need a Pro, Pro E on Linux to do some of this stuff or to learn a new software program. Learn a new software program. Oh, what a hassle. I gotta tell you, modern life sometimes, who figures? Anyways, that's what's kind of coming on up. Um, for those of you who are giving me comments, nice comments, I really appreciate it. These things mean a lot to me. They matter to me a lot, and it really helps me a lot. So thank you very, very much. Okay, this is, this is, this is sincere stuff, okay? Uh, and um, to wrap this up, this little discussion, which is kind of a rambling thing about what's happening as, as things start formulating, the bottom line, and here's the conclusion. After the event sequence, the American-led West are still containing their narratives. War in Taiwan, America's going to step in, we're going to yank shimma shimma shimma, we're going to yell at China, blah, blah, blah. And they cranked up the propaganda machine in that direction. Okay. Meanwhile, they are punishing China with these more biological bombs and this and that, and they're trying to grasp, 
get control in Africa. They're trying to negotiate things in, in the Asian nations. They're trying to do this. They're trying to do that. It's really ineffectual, by the way. Nothing's really happening. Things are not going their way at all. And things are beginning to hit a crescendo. Meanwhile, Russia and China all have solidified the new global currency. Everybody else is hopping on it. And people are being polite to American ambassadors and representatives, but are saying, no. Those surrogate nations that are already propped up with puppet governments, while they appear to be doing what America wants, they know better. So many of them are now... Um, trying to walk fine lines. One of the most sturdant and stringent of these American fossils, the new administration in Australia, are putting out feelers saying they're trying to become more moderate in their discussions with China now. They're saying, well, you know, we still affirm the one China policy. That tightrope, the same thing Nancy Pulaski said, so don't put too much faith in it, okay? Nancy Pulaski violated the red line and then says, but we still believe there's one China. It's like this double talk. I'm going to explain to you one more time. I said it before. The way it works is very, very simple. Strategic ambiguity means lie to your face and do whatever the fuck you want. Okay? China's done playing those games. The only reason you're hearing it over and over again is because they... The Wurlitzer, the Grand Wurlitzer, is cranking it out in the propaganda machines. Okay, and that's the summary right now. Things are going to get really dicey. Um, and uh, it's going to be a nice, slow slide into the oily black lagoon. And you won't be able to get up for air. Those of you who watch too many science fiction shows or war shows think that this is going to happen real sudden. It's not going to happen really sudden. China's not stupid. China and Russia working together. Anything fucking funny going on, they are going to erase America. But their plan right now is to punish America, not erase it. If they have to erase it, they'll erase it. They're just going to punish it. Those of us who are expats are terribly embarrassed. And I hope that America recovers. I don't have any hope on it. I don't believe it's going to happen, but I hope that it will. You know. Anyways, every day and in every way, please understand that your life is under your control, no matter how crazy it may seem to you. And being in, under your control means that you can adapt and change to your desires. Now, I have laid out the limitations of doing that in fate forecasting, as well as the process of doing it, which is known as affirmation campaigns. These are verbalization efforts and ways of controlling and changing your mind. Uh, which is greatly assisted with hemisync frequency manipulation. All of these things I offer at the website for free. You just got to spelunk through all the, the, the stacks. And uh, it's all for free. I'm not asking for shit. And this is the way for you to control your life because for you to control your life, you have to understand how the universe actually is. And then, knowing how it actually is, you drive through it. And I provide this information. Um, and I offer all kinds of stuff. I really believe that uh, all of us are very, very capable. And I believe that you are where you are right now if you're viewing this because um, you have been led here 
and we like to think that we've been led here by other things, but what you yourself actually led you here. And uh, you're checking out my crazy rants and my thoughts and all this stuff. Um, <clears throat> I just want to provide some help here before I die. I'm going to die. I'm an old man. And I want to leave something good here for pros prosperity. So that all of you can move forward in your life, whether or not I'm making videos or writing articles or whatever the hell I'm doing. And I believe that maybe you don't want to hear about what's going on in China, but I'm sorry, I, I tell you as it is, and I know it's shocking to a lot of you. And you don't want to hear about how the United States does things, I know, because it's shocking, it destroys illusions. And I know you don't want to hear about the stuff that's going to be up and coming. It's not going to be small bads, apparently. It's going to be medium bads, and that's going to be pretty nasty for some of you. But nevertheless, it's not going to be the whole world. It's not going to be your little part of it either. So what you need to do is focus, control yourself, and make the best decisions based upon what you know. Be part of a community. Be the Rufus. For those of you who are, know, who are new, don't know what being the Rufus is, being the Rufus is a state of mind where you are attentive. You help people in need. You pick up the trash in front of you. If Hold the door open for a person. You say nice words to other people. If you're in a bad mood, you get away from other people and you vent, but you don't vent in front of other people. You help the dogs, you help the cats, you're cruel to nobody. You help people and you make the world a better place. You plant trees, you have a garden, you give your excess to your neighbors. You invite friends over and you share beer. When you're at work, you give somebody a, a cup of coffee. You improve your life, becoming part of a small community. You can't control the world, but you can control your little part of it. That's called your reality. And I believe, I really believe, that you're going to do well in it. Because, you know, I believe. i 
种罪，你会不会远离将就的明天？如果你就是一切，如果我就是绝对，如果清醒是种罪，就让爱去蔓延，成全每个夜。心。